Hey Pipers! I just wanted to give a quick demo because uh, I've talked a little bit to a few friends of mine and students of mine about false fingering and accidentals in piping and um, not many people, even experienced pipers, seem to know a whole lot about it. So just to speak from what I guess I've picked up from uh, peers, from teachers, and a little bit from my own experimenting, here's uh, the accidentals that I've found, the false fingering that I've found that work, at least for my chanter. Um, it kind of depends on your read, it kind of depends on the chanter you're using, but the C natural is pretty universal, that seems to work for everybody. Sometimes you have to underblow a little bit, uh, you know, if the read's a little easy maybe it might still sound a C sharp even if you're playing that, but if you underblow it should bring it down. Um, you can kind of get a D sharp. It's not very useful, it's pretty out of tune, but if you play a C in the right hand and an E in the left, that'll give you kind of a D sharp. The F natural is pretty good. Um, you can play it like that, or sometimes I've had certain reads that'll do better playing it like that, with a D in the right hand and just the middle finger up on the left. Um, I sometimes use a G sharp, but I kind of avoid it because it it's very, very out of tune, and for that, it's more like a high A. You've got the thumb up and the ring, uh, but the ring finger's up and the index and middle finger are down. So, just to demonstrate what those sound like, let me put my earplugs in here. Same thing, you kind of have to underblow on it because it's very sharp. Um, there's your F natural, which also works with the D fingering with most of the right hand off the chanter instead. Again, depends on the read. It's a little sharp when I use this read, uh, which, just in case you're interested, is a shepherd. And this is my uh, McCallum chanter. So then the last one, the G sharp. It's very sharp. But if you want to, if you got like a special request to play, maybe Joy to the World, that's one of those songs that everybody knows. And if you play a G natural on it, it just doesn't sound the same. And so maybe if you have like organ and brass and a bunch of other stuff, you can kind of hide the G sharp and it won't, you know, the tuning of it might not be as um, exposed and noticeable. I don't know. So experiment with them. If you've come up with your own false fingering, uh, post it in the comments below and let me know what you do. Let me know what works for you. Cheers.